I'm told that the Chernin Award exemplifies defending the Bill of Rights and the First Amendment. Well, that's really been 80% or more of the work that I've done, certainly on behalf of the Jewish community. And that's why I'm proud to receive that award. I was fortunate enough, after graduating from the Harvard Law School, to have the opportunity to clerk for the Supreme Court of the United States for Justice Harlan. And then I worked for the Department of Justice, where I became friends with Attorney General Robert Kennedy, prosecutor Jimmy Offa, ended up being the Deputy Assistant Attorney General for Civil Rights in the Department of Justice in the late 1960s. And then when I went out into private practice, because I had this background, I was asked by Jewish organizations to represent them in various forms of litigation. There is no legal issue that has faced the Jewish community in the United States in the past half century that does not have Nathan Lewin's fingerprints on it. Ensuring that the Jews in this country are protected, that they can live their lives freely and practice their faith proudly. There was one case that I litigated which involved the menorah in Atlanta, Georgia. Could you put a menorah up right in the rotunda of the state capitol? We litigated that before 11 federal judges we said we had a constitutional right to do that. While I was waiting for that case to be argued, I wrote a limerick. And when it turned out that the 11 judges all seemed to be very sympathetic to my position, I decided I'll try a little humor and I'll read the limerick that I wrote. There once was a young rabbi of Chabad who thought the Constitution must be odd. To prohibit all speech in a public place on AIDS or abortion or race, but to prohibit anyone from mentioning God. That limerick summarized what my opponents were arguing. And believe it or not, that limerick made its way into an 11 to nothing court opinion upholding the right to put up a menorah in the rotunda of the state capitol. In terms of a legacy, after all these years, I mean, now I've been practicing law since 1961, I would leave a legacy for future lawyers who want to and are interested in representing Jewish interests. They should recognize that you've got to fight for the Jewish interests in litigation and that the courts they may hold for you or against you in a particular case, but nonetheless, you give it your best professional effort. On a personal level, receiving this award has taken a special place in my heart.